What's up guys, I'm going to make a video for you today showing you how to make this Dymo wireless through your network. So it only takes two cords. It's a power cord and a USB. So the power cord straight to the, the wall and that USB cord we're going to need plugged into our router. So our router has to have a USB port on it. For this to work so you have to make sure your router has a usb port so this is my router it is a tp link touch p5 so for this tutorial it would be best if you have a tp link but if you don't it would be very similar so once you locate the usb go ahead and insert the usb into the back of your router Connect your label printer to the USB and to the power supply. You are done for this process. Now you will have to go to your computer. It will be best if you are using a Windows 10 computer for this. All right, so once you get to your Windows 10 computer, you're simply going to want to go to uh, Internet Browser and then type in 192.168.0.1 and then press enter you don't have to type the rest of that just just type in that and press enter and you should come up to your tp link screen and if if you've set this password before go along and type it in and then if you if you haven't it should be admin admin and if it's not you can always look at Google for the default for your router log in all right so once you get to your router you want to go to USB settings printer server make sure your printer server is turned on and it's just this toggle switch so you want that make sure that's turned on and it should tell you a little step by step on how to uh, finish this process but I'm gonna show you out I'm gonna show you guys real quick and very easy all right so what you're gonna want to go to is the TP links website USA I'm in USA so we're gonna type in the drivers that we need so it couldn't find it automatically for mine I need a um, so it's the download center. We're just going to go to the download center. Here it is. And it's in features. So you have to get the download center. It's in the features. So once you get to the download center, it's going to ask you the model number. So mine is a touch P5. Did it already come up? Press enter. Oh, it's right down here. So, once I get to this, basically you type in your router and you're gonna wanna look for USB printer controller utility for either Windows or Mac. I'm, I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna have the Windows down. So download that. I already have it downloaded. So you open the folder, where is the folder, programs, here is the folder, so make your dyno wireless, extract all the files, they're extracted, boom, so once you extract it, you open it again, install this, and then once you install this, you will get this program, the USB printer controller. So once you click on that, um, it will either say your printer right there because it's connected to your router USB, or you will have to power your computer off and restart it. And once you turn it back on, go back into this program and your whole computer should have res reset everything and um, it, the drivers should work. Uh, every time you install drivers, you have to restart your computer. So make sure that you restart your computer after installing this program and then come back into this program and you should have your printer right here. And I hope this tutorial is 
was helpful for you guys and if it was please consider subscribing um if it helped leave a